if you look at a lot of flies, a lot of them are tied similar, maybe a little different in color, a little different in style. But as fly tires, that's what we do. We take a, a pattern that has been effective, but maybe doesn't quite work for us in our favorite waters. And so we put a new twist on it. And that's the type of fly I'm going to be tying today. Uh, originally, it uh, started off as a kilowatt, which is a steelhead fly. Just had too much flash for my home waters on the Methow. So I kind of dumbed it down, so to speak. And also I put it on a uh, shank with a stinger hook. So that's what we're going to work on. So as far as your shank, you can use any streamer hook or hook at all, whether it's upturned, downturned, or straight eye. It's your preference. So what I did was I just took a, an existing hook that's, that I had. Um, you can use the Umqua streamer hooks. Like I said, anything that will work for you. We've got our medium-sized brass cone head in black nickel on here. We're going to add some uh, lead-free wire. That is the 0 0.02 diameter. And you're only going to need maybe five or six wraps. Stuffed up in the corner there. We're going to use 140 denier, and I think this is peacock blue, since the uh, color we're going to be doing is predominantly black with just a little bit of blue, which is my favorite for steelhead, for especially for summer runs in the area. thread base down Oops. and you're going to run it all the way back to just about where the bend was where you clipped off the other part. Next we're going to do is put in our stinger hook size 4 or whatever size you choose to do. I'm doing a kind of a low profile, smaller fly about under just a little under two inches because of the low water conditions that we have this year on the Methow. Um, you could use the braided line, the wire, and some people even like the mono. Uh, I like most of the time the braided, and this is 80 pound suffix. So we're gonna lay that in on top. And we're gonna do it with a hook up. Before we go any further, I'm noticing I need a little bit more wire right here to kind of hold that cone in place. There we go. And we're going to wrap our thread almost to the front and leave just a little bit of space so we don't crowd the head too much. And then what I do is turn it over and I bend each piece of the braid back. And what that does is it gives me kind of an even body. And then usually just a touch of zappy gap up front. And in the back. And then what we're going to do is kind of let that dry for a few minutes. Okay, the next we're going to put in our tail. <clears throat> if you're like me, I'm kind of I don't like to throw away material. So when I'm using marabou, especially if I'm using the barbels or the stems or the side fibers, I kind of keep the end. And that's what we're going to use for a tail. 
tail run back to right into the sh where the trailer hook is. Give that a wrap around there. Secure that down. Next will be our dubbing. And we're going to use the ice dub and the blue steely. You don't have to use a lot. So you want just a little bit showing through here and then we'll use it in one other location. And then what I do is I take my dubbing spinner, put it about halfway, double my dubbing thread over. And then progress it a little forward. And then give that a little bit of a spin, because what I don't want is a real thick body. And you can use your rotary device like I have here to uh, spin that on, but I'm just going to wrap it like this. Okay. Go back a little bit, make sure that that's all even. And we're going to go just a little bit behind the, the cone. And tie off your Next we're going to do is we're going to take our ice dub in UV black and we're just going to build up just a little bit of a ball right there. Kind of help your materials from here on out to th flare out when they're on there, but you don't need a lot. You can tie this, this fly in any color combination that you prefer. Um, some of my favorite colors are, of course, is the black with a little bit of blue, black with a little bit of red, straight up blue with just a hint of chartreuse, some pinks, some purples. Just all depends on what you like. Next we're going to do is take our black flashaboom. As you notice, this stuff gets static electricity real easy. So I have to wet it down a little bit. And you're only going to want about uh, four, maybe five fibers, not too many. About four is about actually what you want to do, depending on how big a fly you're tying. Turn that upside down. So that we're going to tie this in at the bottom first. And again, you're going to want these to run just about to the edge of the tip of the, the bend of the hook. You can double that back. And you're going to just take your excess so that everything is the same length. Cut it off. Next we're going to do is the same thing again on top. If you were tying a kilowatt, you'd be using twice as much or more on the flash of it. So that's going to give just enough flash. It's going to be a low profile. 
Next you're gonna do is just take some, uh, take a blood quill, Marabou blood quill, black, and we're just gonna strip off a little bit off the stem. Try to get everything kind of evened up there. And then you want not a lot, but enough to create a good wing. Sometimes you have to go through your mirror to find the right stuff. Again, you can lay that right back to the edge of your flashaboo. A couple of turns to secure it. You don't need a lot. Trim off your excess. Okay, I'm going to take our handy little thread splitter here. Split our thread. And take some more of your blue ice dub. I'm not going to use a lot, just a little bit. I'm going to kind of spread that out a little bit. And give her a spin. Make sure everything's out of the way. And then we're just going to wrap that in the front. Make sure you pull the fibers to the back. I like to do about two four-turn whip finishes. And one last little thing is I kind of like to brush these fibers back so they kind of flow. When this thing gets wet, it's real low profile, but it's got just enough flash. Especially the first part of the season, it's really good. And a little later on, it works just as good. One last thing um, is I like to put Some head cement in there and then I'll use some uh, sappy gap. And what I'll do is I'll turn this down so it kind of flows into it. Good luck to you out there.